Hey book nerds, I'm Travis and this is Travis Reads Books. Today I want to do a review of a book that's coming out this week called Bubblegum by Sari Torres. I received a copy of this book free of charge from the author. So bear with me, I'm going to try a different kind of review today. Uh, I haven't really liked the way my scripted reviews have been turning out, so I'm going to try just basically doing a talk uh, about a book I recently read. Uh, and I'm going to see if that works out a little better, just doing it off the cuff. Bubblegum is a really exciting book. Uh, it is action-packed from the very beginning. It never lets up. Something is constantly happening. Uh, the story is always being pushed forward. Uh, it's a really hard book to put down, uh, and I basically didn't. I read the entire thing in two days, uh, which is very fast, especially for a slow reader like me. Um, it takes place in a semi-dystopian future, uh, not that far off from our own world, uh, where everything is divided by class. Uh, and the caste system that everyone uses is more like a formally acknowledged version of the one that we have in our world today. Uh, so that makes it sort of a disturbing, speculative fiction sort of a book. Our main character is named Tiana. She is uh, from the upper class. Uh, and we have a second main character named Julia, who is from a much lower class. Uh, and they're, they're very different people. Uh, Tiana is a borderline sociopath, uh, I would say. She enjoys killing, uh, but I think she has uh, a certain she has a certain moral code, uh, although it's a bit sketchy at times. Uh, I think generally she's a, a good person in her own way. Uh, Julia is uh, a public servant and much more typically good character um, who really believes in doing the right thing and still believes uh, in, in their being good in the world, uh, which makes for an interesting contrast with uh, Tiana. Um, so basically they're thrown together in a plot I don't want to say too much about because the surprises of it are part of the fun, uh, but there are uh, superheroes, super villains, uh, giant conspiracies, huge twists that you don't see coming. Um, I think it's also a very socially conscious book. Uh, there's great representation here. Um, you've got heroic characters from the LGBT community, um, people of color. Um, a lot of strong female characters, uh, and it definitely it def definitely makes a statement uh, about the social implications of a class system uh, like the one employed in the book. I think uh, the characters and uh, the scenarios they're in uh, do a lot to destigmatize um, atypical sexuality. Uh, and uh, things like sex work and sex in general, I think, is really destigmatized, uh, which I think is great uh, to see in a new adult book, uh, which uh, NA and, and YA has become so overwhelmed with slut-shaming their characters, uh, any character who has sex or uh, dresses a certain way, they tend to be uh, portrayed as the villains, while purity and chastity are uh, treated as traits of the good characters. Uh, and I think, I think Bubblegum really just ignores any compulsion uh, to conform uh, to what is unfortunately 
increasingly becoming a common way of thinking uh, in YA and NA books. So I really appreciated that fresh take on sexuality. Uh, it was a super fun book, super action-packed. Uh, I literally have nothing bad to say about this book. So Bubblegum comes out this week. I'll put a link to where you can buy it in the description. If you like this review, be sure and hit like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe hit subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new informal kind of book review I'm trying out. And thanks for watching. Love and respect. See you next time.